Happening right now in Rochester, a Black Lives Matter vigil to remember those affected by racist acts. But first, earlier today, the Med City welcomed an activist on a mission. Our Alex Tejada was there, joins us in our studio to explain more. Alex. That's right, Tom, Caitlin, Terry Willis started walking in Huntsville, Alabama and is marching a thousand miles to Minneapolis to the exact spot where George Floyd died. He's marching for change, something many in Rochester and across the country are marching for. I'm smacking back. I'm just doing it my way. Angered by George Floyd's death, Terry Willis decided to do something extreme to bring the Black Lives Matter movement into the spotlight. You can't just sit back and watch, because we've been sitting back and watch, and this is why we're at the stage. His message is based on three principles, change, justice, and equality. It's just for us to be seen as equals. That's it. It's real simple. It's crazy that I got to walk a thousand miles for that, to get that attention, but I'll do what I have to do. Walking from Huntsville, Alabama, making his way to Minneapolis, where Floyd died. Here in Rochester, activists say change is needed in the Med City. You're not getting help with nothing. It's not a change. You know what I'm saying? We got a label on our back. Everything, everything from the government center to the school district. Smith says she sees more black people in Rochester than when she first moved here 30 years ago, but has yet to see changes to support the community. I've been seeing a lot of change in us, but not a lot of change for us. Ain't none change but the web. One change they'd like to see in Rochester is the availability of affordable housing in the Med City. We got people living over here in this park. You see what I'm saying? They living over in this park in a tent. Now a call for a change in the system, something some say prevents them from improving their lives. What that does that lead us back to? If you shut me down, I can't get a problem. You shut me down, I can't get a job. Y'all just study shut me down. What that leads me back to? The streets. These passionate conversations motivate Willis, but the thing that keeps him walking? His son. I'll tell him 115, and he'll, he'll scream, and he'll just, Dad, I love you, and I can't wait to go. He hopes the national attention on racism forces more to take action. As long as everybody's doing something, then we'll get things done. We'll see change. After more than a month on the road, Willis says he's ready for the finish line, but is unsure how he will feel once he crosses it. Rochester residents we spoke to say they're encouraged by Willis, but hope that local politicians also hear their voices. They also urge leaders to use members of the black communities to help bring about this change. Live in the studio, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Alex, thank you. And as we